I'm, I have tangles in my hair. Yes, she does. She has a lot of tangles in her hair. See, she's not letting me, she's not going to let me touch it. And we really get to this point. Um, I really don't let her hair get like this, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of background information on how her hair got like this. She had the cutest, was it a, it was like a braid out slash twist out. She had the cutest braid out slash twist out on Friday for picture day. Um, I let it air dry. My typical air dry method, I let it air dry. Um, I washed her hair on Wednesday night. And I let it air dry until Friday morning, and she had picture day. It was so cute. Now, as you can see, her and hair. I, and, I, and, I, and I take a picture. So now, like this. Yeah, she took a picture. And she smiled like that. So, <laughs> so now it's Sunday, and yesterday it rained, and she had. To and then, and then I bring my um Olaf um umbrella. Yeah, she had her Olaf umbrella. It rained, and she had cheerleading practice, and this is what it looks like come Sunday. So her hair is very tangled. Um, it needs to be styled. I wash her hair every two weeks. Honestly, I would wash her hair just to get all the tangles out. Well, when, when you don't sit in the chair, you, when, you, when you wash your hair, it, you can comb it, and you can um, style it. Okay, so I'm going to style it. As you guys know, I don't use a lot of combs, but her hair, I just don't let her hair get to this point. See, she's scared, and I know some of you guys... I'm not scared. Oh, she's not scared. I know this might happen to some moms with kids where... Um, Mom, that hurt. It might hurt, so I'm just going to show you guys how I typically would do her hair once it gets to this point and this is what it's looking like as you can see like some parts of her hair have nice defined twists that don't really have i could just pretty much just finger detangle this um which i will do i'll spend about 10 minutes finger detangling as much as i can now i do when her hair gets like this i have two options on what i can do I can either do two corn rolls, um, just part it down the middle, do two corn rolls, which would probably take me about an hour. A five minute hairstyle that would take me about an hour just because I don't like when it has a whole bunch of tangles. Um, as you can see, I'm just gently detangling her hair and I'm going to add a little... Rapunzel! I know, it's going to come back on when I finish. And I'm going to add a little bit of the moisturizing mist, but I don't want to add too much because if I add too much, what's going to happen is her hair is going to shrink even more. And then, and then it's going to get tangled. And I don't want it to um, shrink. And I don't want it to get tangled. For the hairstyle that I'm Mommy, doing. Mommy, I was going to talk. You are talking. And, and when, when you don't wash it, it's going to get tangled. And then when you don't when you don't comb it's gonna get tangled exactly see she's three years old and she knows all of this stuff so this is basically how i pretty much work with the, the tangling hair as you can see i have a pretty good grip right here so this is really going to help me use my fingers to detangle now if i don't really see any knots but when you, when you don't Let's say there was a knot in here. Was well, not a knot when you. What I would do is I would add a mommy, small. Mommy, I want to tell you something. Yes. Um, when you don't comb it, it's gonna get tingly, and it's gonna it's gonna happen when you do it, and you, when you don't comb it, it, when when you don't comb it, it's gonna get tangles, and and when you don't do it, you you can't wash it, and when you when you do it. You can't do it, and when when you don't do it, it's gonna get tangled. Exactly. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I don't see any knots. Actually, it's really not as tangled as I thought it was. I could pretty much do all of this, the tangling with my hands. But 
trying to find a knot for you guys. Everything is not as tangled as I thought it was, honestly. I thought it was worse than this, but um trying to find a tangle for you guys. But let's say I did find a knot or just a piece that was really, really tangled. What I would do is I would take a little bit of the mist. And because her hair has already has a lot of moisture in it, it really doesn't need much. It's really moisturized from Wednesday still, just using, doing the LOC method. Um, but let's say she did have a tangle. What I would do is I would find a tangle and I would add just a small amount of the mist. So I would spritz about two, two parts of the mist. And just pretty much work that until I could get through the tangle. Through the tangle, when you, when you have tangles, you, it's, you can wash it when you... And if I did need to use a comb, if I did need to use a comb, Mom, which I try Mom, to avoid, I, want to, I, want to I was just gently... I want to tell you something. I want to talk to people. Hold on real quick, Summer, okay? Give me one second. I would just gently use a comb to detangle if I had a knot. But this is how I really get through hair that is really, really pretty much okay, no, no, I'm tangled. Talk. Okay, tell them. When, when, you don't, when you don't comb it, that's, you, when you don't comb it, it's going to get tangled. And when you don't comb it, it's going to get tangled. When when you do it, it's not gonna it's not gonna get tangled. When you, when you don't do it, it's gonna get tangled. When you don't wash it, that's just happens when you don't curl your hair. When when you don't do it, your hair or you don't um tie your hair hair like it's like it's broken it up or you need to brush it like like hairstyle and like it like it's. Like it's gonna fall out, like uh, you don't uh, wash it. <laughs> how do you know all of this stuff, mommy? Stop laughing. But how do you know all of this? Stop it. Where did you learn this from? Stop it. I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because I'm amazed at how smart you are. Hmm. What's hmm. wrong? I don't miss personal. It's not. Good it's, that was really good. You are so smart, so intelligent. Aww, Look up now that I've pretty much detangled as much as I could. I'm still finding a little bit of tangles. But now that I've detangled as much as I could with my hands, and the best way to detangle with your hands, like I said, is to just find, just work at small sections at a time, separate them. Take the hair and pretty much use your fingers and make sure there's no tangles and then move on to another section. So now that I've finger detangled everything, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my infamous style, which is mini twists. So this is the hardest part is actually parting her hair and you guys know even though I don't use combs I only use this part of the comb to do my parting and I'm just going to part her hair into four sections being very gentle because if I'm not gentle she's going to cry in the minute I'm not gentle the minute I hear the word ouch, she's not going to want me to finish doing her hair. So that is the magic word that I try to avoid when her hair is like this. I try to avoid that magic word ouch. So I'm just going through, trying to separate that part that I made with the comb, just using my hands to avoid actually using the comb. And some of this part was still in there from when I washed and air dried her hair. So I'm going to divide her hair into four sections. Is I will lay her down, 
let her watch her movie and hopefully she'll take a nap while I'm doing her hair. Are you going to take a nap? No, I'm not sleepy. Oh yeah, I'm not sleepy. I know you moms know that magical term, I'm not sleepy. Which is usually the opposite. What's the opposite of I'm not sleepy? You can lay down. To lay down? Yeah. That's the opposite of I'm not sleepy? Yeah. I think that's close enough. So I'm still trying to divide this into four sections. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the mini twist. So this is how I basically detangle her hair when I am when it's just has gotten out of control. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll leave my link to my mini twist tutorial above right there so that you guys can check it out. So she fell asleep while I was doing her hair, but um, I just wanted to show you guys a tip too. When I stretch her hair, I like to put these things because um, sometimes when I'm doing her hair and I add a lot of mist, it does cause it to shrink. So it just kind of stretches it again a little bit. Follow me on, hey guys, follow me on my Instagram. Thank you guys, I'm glad you like it on my hair. Thank you for watching, bye.